Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create some objects that rotate around your head. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create some objects that rotate around our head here in effect house. The first thing we will do is to create a head tracker object. So for this, we go to the left hand side and click here on add object. Then we go down to AR tracking and here we can find the head tracker. We click on it and then Effect House will create this head tracker with a head object nested inside of it. This head object is just the occluder. So yeah, all the objects will disappear behind our head um, when we have created this object. So the next object we will create here is an empty mesh. So we go again to add object. Now we go to 3D and then we select here the empty mesh object. When we have created this, make sure to drag and drop the empty mesh into the head tracker. So now here at our scene panel, we can see our empty mesh. So this is located here and this will be the center point of the rotation. So yeah, we can adjust this later. Now we need of course some object objects that will rotate around our head. You can use any object you want here, but to simplify things here, I will just create a sphere object. For this, I go to add object and then again to 3D and here I will select the sphere. But of course you can use your own 3D objects or other 3D objects um, for this example. Now we can see that the 3D object is in the middle of our scene and it is also disappearing when yeah, I am over it. So to um, make this follow our head movement, we have to drag and drop this sphere object into our empty mesh object we have just created. After we have done this, our uh, sphere is following our face. I will create four spheres, but of course you can create as many as you want, or you can just um, do this with one sphere, so, or any other 3D object. So now I will um, select my sphere, go to the right hand side and now I will change here some um, setting in the transform property. For example, I will set the set um, set posi position to let's say 12. So it is more in front of my head and also I will scale it down a little bit. Let's say, yeah, we scale it down to 0 0.5. Now it has a great size. Um, at the moment it is completely in front of my face, in front of my eyes. I don't want this. So now I will not um, change the properties of the sphere. I will change the property of the empty mesh. As, as I said, the empty mesh will be the center of rotation. So yeah, make sure to change here the position. So I will change the Y position to 10, a little bit too high, um, let's say eight and the set I will go with minus two. So now you can already see here the position has changed, but of course you can also change the position here in the scene panel. So yeah, now we have created one sphere and now I will create three another spheres. So I just go to my object, object panel and now with right click I can just here duplicate my object. So, so I will want to have another sphere in the back of my head, so I will change the position of this sphere from set 12 to set minus 12. Then again, I will just duplicate my, my sphere. Then again, go to the right hand side. Now I will set the X to minus 12 and the set to zero. And for the last sphere, I also will duplicate this one. And here I will just set the position from minus 12, the X position to 12. And now it is on the right side. Now we have created our spheres. And the last thing we have to do is to create the animation. For this, we will um, yeah, animate our empty mesh because as I've already said multiple times, this is the center of the rotation. So we will rotate 
this element so this is very simple so we don't have to animate all our single objects so we just have one object to animate and to animate this we go to our visual scripting panel and here we have to create some nodes the first node we have to create is a transit by time node so transit by time just search for it and then insert it here we will set the um, yeah, transit by time from number to vector three. And yeah, here we have to change the from two. And the from stays the same. But the two, I will set the x to, no, the y to 360 because this is measured in degrees. So one um, rotation has 360 degrees. And here for the duration, I will just set it to two seconds. This will be the speed of the rotation and the loop count I will just set to 9999 but if you just want two rotation you set this loop to two now we also want to start this and um, transit by time I will just start it with the start of the effect so I will just grab this start node and then I will um, connect the output with the start input of our transit by time patch so the next thing is that we need um, the rotation values here in our visual scripting. For this, we go to the left hand side, select the empty mesh, then go to the right hand side and next to rotation, you can find this little circle. Just click on it and here um, select set rotation. After you have done this, you will find this node in the visual scripting panel and here um, just connect the current vector free output with the value input of the transform node and the stay output of the transit by time um, node um, gets to the enter input of the set rotation node and after we have done this we can already see that our objects are rotating around our head and now we can just yeah play around with all the settings for example, we can make the rotation faster or slower. For this, we just go to the transit by time node and change the rotation. So now it is faster. Also, when we want to change the um, position of the objects, we can do this by yeah, changing the position of the spheres or when we just want to move everything a little bit up or back or in the front, we can just change the empty mesh um, position for example i set the set here now to minus minus four now the objects are more in the back so now we have successfully created some objects which are rotating around our head i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye